Hey guys, I hope you're all well. I've got a chore video today. Um, I'm going to Ibiza at the end of June and I've got a load of bits for holiday so I thought I'd make a video. The wind is blowing an absolute gale. I don't know what the hell the weather is in the UK this week but it's absolutely shite. We've got some knobhead cutting his grass over there. The light keeps going in and out and the dogs are snoring on the bed so I'm sorry if all those things annoy you but that's life. I'm not perfect, I can't have a perfect YouTube setup I'm afraid, so we're going to roll with it and I hope it's okay. So to cut a long story short, I'm skinned and all of this is from really cheap places. So if you're after some bargains for some holidays or if you're not going on holiday and you're hoping that we actually have some decent weather here in England, then this video is for you. So I'm going to start with Primark. I've only got three bits I think from Primark. Well, I tweeted ages ago that I was having trouble finding just a plain fucking black bikini. Nowhere seems to do one. It's all like heavily embellished or like horrible neons. And if you like that then that's fair enough. That's what you're into. But I can't stand neon. I just do not like it. Um, so yeah I wanted a cheap black bikini that was going to do the job. I feel like with black bikinis you can mix and match and dress them up with like jewellery and stuff and have them still look really nice. So I just got this bandeau uh, top. It has got the halter neck with it, but I probably won't wear that. Oh my god, this lighting is so bad. So yeah, I got the black bandeau top and it was like cheap as chips. I think it was, hang on, £2, so you can't go wrong. I didn't want anything around my neck or on my shoulders because I don't want tan lines. So I picked that up and then I got a couple of pairs of bottoms to mix and match. Um, so I got these like kind of brief bottoms. They're quite high cut, so I think you can pull them up. Um, above your hips maybe I don't know I did try them on but I tried them on over my pants so they probably don't even fit me but I've got such a massive lower back that they'd, anything just looks odd I wanted some high-waisted ones but Primark didn't have any so I just went with these and they were two pound and they got like the cutouts on the sides and then I saw these which I really like but I didn't like the top off so I thought I could just pair them with that bandeau top and they're just khaki green and that these were three pounds and I think they do a cream as well, cream and black. Uh, they've got some really nice bikinis in but like I said they're just too garish and gaudy for me. I like a plain bikini and then I can wear like lipsticks and shit with it. Cause boy I'm all crying over you. And then I needed some new uh, denim shorts. I've worn my Levi ones for ages but they're just looking battered and shit and the buttons fell off and Betty is he snoring I just came across these in Primark they're only a tenner um, and they're high waisted light denim and they've got all rips down the legs and then they just look like that on the back I want some black ones as well which I'm probably going to get before I go love these just wear them with anything wear them with the bikini tops and then just like a nice top for the, for the night time if anybody's got any recommendations of what to actually wear to Ibiza um, please let me know because obviously I've never been before um, and the only things I ever see girls in are like dental floss. <laughs> Everybody seems to wear next to nothing over there which I'm okay with but I need to know the things that I need to take because let's face it I haven't got the body of a dancer so yeah. I'm staying at the um, Ashwire Hotel and Club so if anyone's ever been there before give me some recommendations on anything because I'm all ears for that. That's it for Primark. The next place was everything5pound.com. Now if you haven't heard of this website you need to get your ass on it because it's so good. They have got some stuff on there that really isn't that nice and isn't my taste but there are some gems on there and I found four pieces which I adore. They did send me these pieces and I did some styling for them over on my blog so I will link those posts in the description box if they're up before this video. Um, but I've got four pieces which obviously amounts to 20 quid so if you are on a budget this website is brilliant. You just have to spend quite a bit of time trawling through to find some uh, gems. I actually got a couple of pairs of culottes. Now I own a couple of pairs already and I live in them, I work in them. I'm around the house in them, I go out in them, wear them on nights out, everything. I just find them really comfy. Um, I like being able to pull them up over my stomach so you can't see that. And I just find them quite flattering. So I got this black pair and they're high waisted and they're horizontal stripes and then right on the bottoms they go down in vertical stripes. 
I love these. They're like, they're not cotton, but they're a real soft, almost jersey fabric, I'm going to say. They've got a lot of stretch in them. Um, and they're exactly the same on the back. I just love these, like with a little black top, again on my bikini top. I think they look really nice um, with a pair of Birkenstocks, trainers, heels, anything. So I love these. So the second pair of clots are these cream ones. I absolutely adore these. I've styled these up on my blog. Um, so I'll leave that link in the description box if you want to go and have a look. But again, they're elasticated waist. They come up really high waisted, go all the way down in vertical this time. And then on the bottoms, they're horizontal stripes. I hope you can see that because the sun has come out and just ruined it. But yeah, I got both of these in a size 12 because I've got quite big hips. Um, and they fit me perfectly, real tight around the waist, and then they kind of skim over my hips, so I love them. The only thing I would change is add a pocket. They haven't got pockets, but for five pound, I'm not gonna whinge about that. And again, I just think they'd be really easy to wear on holiday. And then I found trainers. I know, trainers for a fiver. Can't complain at that, can you? And they're really on trend at the moment. I've seen loads of these in like the likes of Topshop, New Look. Um, but for a fiver, you cannot go wrong. They're just white and they've got um, floral detail on the sides and then like a yellow uh, block colour on the back. Worn them once, they are so comfy and they're real true to size. I've got mine in a five, which is my usual foot size. So I love them. Again, they go with everything. I probably won't be taking these on holiday with me just because I'm limited to hand luggage and I will just probably take sandals. But they go with everything, jeans, shorts, those culottes, you name it. T-shirt dresses, I'm loving t-shirt dresses at the moment with trainers, they look so nice. It's so effortless, you just throw it on in the morning and go, so these aren't going to be off my feet this summer, I just love them. They've got loads of footwear on there actually, so if you are after uh, some new shoes, I'd definitely check them out. Oh, why is enough? I'm never fucking prepared, am I? Nothing zipped up. So the last thing I got from Everything £5 was a bomber jacket and it's just a black one. I don't own a black bomber jacket but I loved how this one looked. I loved the fall of it. It looks more expensive than it is. It looks like it's from Koss or somewhere. It's like a lightweight linen almost um, and the zip's concealed which I love. There's no like real bright hardware on it. And it's got pockets so that's a bonus and it's a bit elasticated around the waist in a bomber style but it can, comes up quite oversized and back wingy again I got it in a 12 I think no medium just love it it's so simple to throw on over any t-shirt again I probably won't be taking this away with me because I'm hoping it's going to be absolutely boiling and I won't need a jacket but I just got that because you always need a jacket in the UK in the summer and it's just nice to throw on for five pound again cannot go wrong. So moving on, I've got Romway and Shein side, like I have all the time, you know the drill, I love their clothes. Um, I've got a few bits this time that I'm not a huge fan of, but I thought I'd show you anyway because um, not everyone's the same build as me obviously and it might fit you different to me. The first thing I've got is this beach towel. Now I wanted it to be proper towel, like you know you dry yourself with when you get out of the shower and that. But it's actually a, what material is it? Oh, it's 100% polyester. It's like a thin, almost like chamois leather, you know, if you'd like wash and dry your car with. Um, that kind of fabric, but I love it. And it's a one of those round towels. And I'll just show you a little, you're not gonna be able to fit this all in screen, so I'll show you in a cutaway, but it's black and white. And it's this huge mandala. I love it. You get the general idea. And if I need to, I can just throw it around my shoulders for a bit of protection from the sun. And they've got loads of different patterns on there. I will link all this below. But if you're after a beach towel, which doesn't weigh a ton um, and doesn't take up a lot of room in your uh, suitcase, then these are amazing because they're so thin, but also do the job. I mean, I wouldn't want to dry myself with it, but just to lounge about on, they're perfect. Okay, so the first item of clothing I picked up was this play suit. Now this is one of the things that doesn't fit me very well at all. It's far too big for me, which is never usually the case with Ron Wayne Shein side. Usually their stuff comes up pretty small and that's why I did size up in this. But yeah, it's a halter neck play suit. It cinches in at the waist and it's got like these floaty shorts. It's so nice, but it just doesn't fit me very well. 
it's completely backless which is why I got it but it just hangs off me I don't just don't like it I don't like the cut I feel like it's makes me look really old-fashioned I don't know there's just something about it that I really don't like plus it is completely see-through so you could wear it on holiday but you couldn't walk around the town in it back home so not a huge fan of that if I'm honest next thing I absolutely love is a little strap top now I've got the biggest girl crush on Michelle Keegan like she's such a babe I love her so much and her style I mean it's completely different to mine but everything she wears she pulls off so well she looks stunning and everything and basically I'm just a little bit jealous of her because she's a babe but she had like this um, knitted strap top on on her Instagram or on her blog I can't remember which one it was and I fell in love with it and I saw one on either Romwe or she inside I'll link them below but it's like a rust green and white vest top and I love it so much it's such a nice cut it stretches to fit I mean it looks tiny on camera but it stretches around my boobs I've got a pretty big chest so um, I wasn't too sure when this rocked up on my doorstep but it fits like a dream. I love it and it looks really nice tucked into blue jeans with just some sandals. No doubt tucked into shorts. I'm definitely going to take this away with me because I haven't got that many dressy tops. I mean it's not dressy, it's quite casual isn't it but you know what I mean. I don't tend to wear strap tops on a daily basis so it is quite dressy for me but I love that. The only worry is it might be too hot because it is quite thick and like I said ribbed. Such a horrible word ribbed. Yeah, love that, it's so nice. Apologies about my hair, I've been putting it up recently because it's like here, it's so long and I can't deal with it. Um, I'm gonna go and get it cut soon, but yeah, for now it's gotta stay up on my head. So if it looks like a shit tip, that's why. And this was the other thing I wasn't too impressed with. Hang on. It's a pair of short dungarees, but they would fit a five year old. They are tiny and I got them in Oh, it doesn't even say. I, it, would be, it would have been the biggest size they'd done. They're showing up really light on camera. They're quite a dark wash. They're like that. They just, they don't fit me. I've got big hips. I'm a woman. I'm not a child. So I just, I don't like those. But I'm sure if you're like, like a six to a small ten, they'll fit you fine. But I've got big womanly hips. So otherwise, they're absolutely lovely. They're really well made. Rips are all in the right places and they're really nice quality but if you're anything above a size 10 I wouldn't bother with these. And the next two things are kimonos. Now I'm not a kimono wearer on a daily basis. Um, I know girls that wear them and they look so nice over like jeans and a top but I just feel like they're a little bit too girly for me but I'm gonna brave it for on holiday. And the first one I got is this green and white one. I've got a white bikini which I think I look amazing with this. But the pattern on it I just fell in love with. I don't know what it is on there, but it's so nice. Again, I'll show you this on because I can't fit it on. I can't fit it in the screen. But it's just one of those that goes over here. I don't know whether it's got sleeves or not. Yes, it has. They're like short sleeve and then it goes really long. What do I fucking look like? Oh, I adore that. The fabric's so nice. It's really floaty. A real nice cover up for when the sun's too bright. So yeah, over my white bikini, I think that'll look really nice. Or even over the um, denim shorts and that. Love, love, love that. And they can roll up so small to fit into me a suitcase. So if you haven't got kimonos for holiday, you need them. And then the next one was something a little bit different for me, but I really liked it. It's kind of like a geometric pattern. And this one will go with my black bikini. The base colour's black and then it's got like this orange and green and white geometric pattern running all down it. And then right at the bottom it's got polka dots which again it's really hard to show you but I will show you off camera. I love this. And then lastly I didn't actually believe it or not own a denim jacket in my life before this but I have one now. Um, I, do, I don't know whether to take it with me. Again, let me know if you've been to Ibiza at the end of June. Is it boiling hot? I mean, I've got the weather app on my phone, but you can never really trust that, can you? So, I don't know whether to take a denim jacket or just wing it and get drunk and hopefully that'll keep me warm. <laughs> but it's a light blue one and it's really oversized. The thing I liked about this was the pockets. They've got like big baggy open pockets on the front. I don't know whether you can tell, but even if it's no good, for holiday I will just wear it at home in the summer as like a cover-up. The only thing I don't like, can 
you hear that? Like the buttons are real jangly. I don't know, do I take them off? I mean, who does the sleeves up on denim jackets anyway? I don't, so I might take those buttons off, but other than that, the quality is awesome and I love it. I can't wait to get some wear out of this. So I think that's all I've got. I will link everything in the description box. I get asked loads about my sheer inside and runway orders, um, about the sizing. I size up in everything. I go to the largest size they do and I, in the UK I'm usually a 10 to 12. So yeah, sorry I look like such a scruff. I've just come in from work and I wanted to get this film. So apologies for that. Everything will be linked in the description box. Hope you're all well. Let me know your favourite piece. Let me en know anything you know about Ibiza because I can't wait to go. I'm just literally buzzing and counting down the days. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.